Hello, Valeria Maltoni, conversationagent.com, and I'm here with Will Reynolds, uh, the CEO of Seer Interactive at the Search Church. And I wanted to get together with Will and talk a little bit about search. The first question that I get from marketers is, okay, what kind of investments do I need to make um, to, to make reasonable strides? You know, what, what does that look like? Sure. Um, so since we're talking about, you know, mostly about content, um, I think it starts with doing a, um, an assessment. And you're looking at doing an assessment of, well, what do you have on your site content-wise that someone would actually want to share? And that usually starts the gears like, oh, I have press releases, no one wants to share that. So it starts to kind of get people thinking a little bit like, I haven't actually made any investments in creating assets on my website that people will naturally want to think about, talk about, and share. I might have done some really cheap articles on some article sites, but I'm talking about real quality things that help people to either become more educated or make better decisions about a topic. And usually the light bulb then goes off, and then that's when you look at the tools that Google has available to say, I just did this this morning with one of our uh, prospective clients, and they are an international MBA. They have an international MBA, and I typed in the word international MBA, and you could just look at the keywords that people were searching for, salary, jobs, rankings. And then I looked at their site and said, how often are you talking about salaries, jobs, or rankings on your site when it's related to the international MBA? Zero instances. So it's like that kind of visual shows a client, this is what people are searching for, but you don't write to it at all. And that's why you're not getting quality links because what people want and what you're serving them are two completely different things. So uh, th that's, that's very interesting. I, I love that example because it brings it home at a very basic level. Now that uh, companies are starting to integrate social media, for example, mm -hmm. in, with their websites, are there you know, kind of any basic tips that you would give them or things to think about as they start publishing? Absolutely. Uh, so when you're publishing content, you know, everything's about it spreading. I've always said, you know, it, I used to say this about websites, but I say it now about content. Nobody invests time to build a website for no one to come. Yet it surprises me on how much time people spend on things, and they put no time into actually making sure that it connects with, with users. And that's where social takes these things off in a whole new place. Um, most people don't know. You can search Twitter for questions. There are tools that will show you who's asking questions on Twitter, which then allows you to look at their followership, and then it gives you an opportunity to help people out. So if you have a, an expertise in a certain topic, then you can actually have Twitter alert you when people are asking questions, and then you can go in and help answer them. And then if you have the assets and the resources already built on your site, then you can point people to those assets on your site. If you don't have them, and you're just generally trying to help people and grow your social following, then point them to other sites that have the answers. But oftentimes people ask me about like building thought leadership and it's like you just really in this internet age you build thought leadership by trying to help people and one of the ways you do that if you don't already have a group of people knocking down your door for help is to go out to the social channels and see what questions people are asking and lend your expertise to help them out just kind of free of cost. 